Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rod here with the Hodler Fud Crypto, your new source for all things cryptocurrency. Guys, if you've been paying attention to anything we've been talking about, you found that our conservative price projections have been bang on so far. And another one that we've absolutely knocked out of the park, well, we got the figure right. We were just a week late in the prediction. So, if you go back and you look at a video we did at the start of April and we talked about a project that was coming out with a very unique twist on Layer 2 solutions for Ethereum and their optimistic roll-ups and how they were going to go out there and fix the network speed and lower costs of transactions, you'd find out that we were talking about Cartesi again. And the things that Cartesi went on and did in April, if you remember, if you click up here, go back and watch that video, you'll see that I predicted that Cartesi would hit $1.50 to $1.60 by the end of April. Well, you go and you run the chart and you look to the first week of May and Cartesi closed at $1.75, setting a new all-time high for it. So you're asking yourself, it had a big pump, it retraced just like everything else, but then you sit there and you wonder, well, was the retracement as bad as we thought? You know, if you look from top of market to the bottom, we did see a 50% price correction, but a lot of things did. And that's not horrible. These things are healthy in this market, especially in a bull market. So we got to keep these things in check. Well, we got some entitled baby who's no better than two-ply um, out there just crumbling the market with garbage tweets. It's, it's atrocious to watch, and I cannot believe that he's allowed to get away with this. If he wants to manipulate his own stock price and affect his own life, then that's fine. If the SEC can't hang him for that, then whatever. But when you can go on and, and just crumble the market as it hits a market low and then say, ah, I think we're going to sell off all our Bitcoin now. You know, that's the kind of stuff that people are getting tired of. Anyways, this is a Cartesi video, so I digress. So we saw that 50% price correction in Cartesi. And what has it done to kind of recover itself? Well, we did have another big explosive run up. And in that run up, from the bottom at about 81 cents, we got back up 65% uh, right away, and we got back into that $1.34 range before settling back in at the dollar uh, five range. And then we had some closes there and got back on track and got as high as $1.29 again. But as we sit today and we look at Cartesi, Right now we are at $1.20. Now the really cool thing about Cartesi is we're talking about these optimistic roll-ups and what that does for the Ethereum network with smart contracts. You can already see that there's so many people talking about this. As you can see, this guy, socials is what drives these things on to other platforms, other trading platforms, DEXs, swaps, whatever you're looking for. This thing is flying on to all kinds of people's radars because of what it can do. Now, Cartesi does have its way of making great partnerships as we already looked at a Polygon Matic. We've looked at some use cases with Cartesi and um, online poker play and gameplay. And uh, there's just all kinds of uh, different uh, relationships that they've gone out and built. And you've, you know, covered off with the team and what they're about and where they can take this thing. But if you look at the chart, and we look at the chart without anything else on it right now, you can see we kind of have the blue is the blue line right across the horizontal line here is kind of where we're kind of plotting right now for our support. And we keep bouncing back off of that and pushing up. And you'll have to notice that that's where the moving average cross is, is right in there as well. We're actually just about to go into another uptick here by the looks of it. But just below the blue, we have an orange line. And that's the furthest line of um, major support we have down below. And that's at 82 cents. So I don't see us going there for quite some time. 
But right now it looks like we're really trying to break that $1.29 resistance and it has been some resistance and some support in the past. It was some brief resistance on one of the explosive uh, climbs up that got us to $1.75 in the start of May. So we're maybe looking at some opportunities to go up here and test this a few times before we absolutely blow through it. So where do I think that Cartesi is going to go? Uh, well, in the immediate future right now, guys, I would say you can look for Cartesi in the next uh, little bit to get back up and test that $1.29 range one or two more times before absolutely blowing through. And I think that we're going to fall just shy of hitting $2.00 for the middle of June, but I think that the $2 range is something I think is obtainable if we can get some big news or something to support Cartesi flying further up. Now, we are looking at a bit of a downturn in the market right now, and what are some things that can really absolutely pop this thing off is if we lose a little bit more Bitcoin dominance, we can really supplant that need to kick off another strong alt season. Much like 2017 when Bitcoin dominance fell down, that's when we had our biggest gains. So if we can get into a scenario like that, then yes, the $2 mark is very conservative. And I would like to see Cartesi go back and hit that five to $6 range that I talked about in the first video. But these are just my opinions, guys. I am not a financial advisor. And I'm just trying to get you guys engaged in a great project and do a little bit of your own research before diving in and maybe making a purchase and riding this thing to all-time highs. But that's what I've got for tonight on Cartesi, guys. I hope you're enjoying this content. Go ahead and like this video. If you think the prediction for Cartesi is on track, go ahead and leave me a comment if there's something that's a little different in your projection or maybe even in your time frame for Cartesi to go up and hit $2 or those all-time highs uh, at the top of the market, where do you think it's going to go? Guys, go ahead and like and subscribe this video and turn on the bell notifications. But that's what I got for tonight. So protect yourself. Don't wreck yourself. Hodler Fud, out.